Okay, hello everybody. This is Francesco Guerrera, aka Feraligraphy. Um, today I'm going to show you some tools uh, I usually use for my very colorful um, piece of calligraphy um, because I really love colors. I think that uh, color is something that is missing into calligraphy. So my my story now is based on colors, and I'm trying to work with colors as much as I can. For this last two months, I have been working with these incredible uh, colors, Ecolin. Ecolin is kind of like a watercolor, but very, very easy to use. Uh, I use a wide range of water, uh, watercolor, I use a wide range of Ecolin. And today I'm going to show you some technique that I use uh, to, to do my calligraphy. Uh, here is some Ecolin colored one. Uh, here's also uh, an Ecolin brush pen, and then I'm going to tell you how to use it uh, mixed, the very basic one, a grey one, a 717 brush, brush pen Ecolin, how to mix with these colors. And then I have uh, uh, an automatic pen, uh, a number 5 one. Uh, I love this tool because it's very flexible and, uh, and the way you can use it is very, it's very easy and uh, it's very easy to manage and also and uh, the result is pretty nice because it's very sharp. And then I have this some brush uh, here, uh, easy brush, very very thin that I'm going to use to add some drop of colors inside my uh, my calligraphy. And then I have this um, Utrecht uh, brush, a flat one that I'm just going to use to add some water uh, to the echelon, some drop of water to give some nice texture. First of all, I'm going to use uh, this very light yellow Ecolin to have my background uh, text and calligraphy. I'm going to use a very easy to find paper with some a little grain. Uh, it's a layout paper, uh, not not a fancy one, uh, not a watercolor one. Even if uh, I strongly suggest to use a watercolor because the paper you will see the paper is going to uh, it's going to be wet and then the result may might be uh, kind of like strange i'm going to use this layout not the way i'm going to use usually to do my calligraphy uh, but just to show you how to use it so i pour my my automatic pen here i i give some drop here usually in another piece of paper just to to let the charge of, of, of the of the watercolor of the echolin be a little bit uh, less dense and then I'm going to write uh, the word color as you can see the result it's pretty si similar to the watercolor one Every time I pour and I charge, I, I, I need to do this this kind of of work because the color is very dense at the beginning and then it becomes a little less dense at the end. What is important in this technique is to be a little bit faster than usual because you need to have a wet color to work uh, with different color in it. So basically I'm going really slow now but usually I go very fast because what I, I'm interested in it's, it's the, the color result even if of course calligraphy has to be as beautiful as possible. So basically this is our basic word. Then I use the thin brush a very thin brush and then for example I add a purple color then I pour my purple color inside and then I leave some drop in it as you can see the more the more color I give the more effect I will produce and then I, ca I, I can work around a letter 
What is nice of using this technique is that once you have written something, once your calligraphy is done, you can work the color inside the letters and the color stay inside the letter exactly how in the, in the same way the watercolor works so now I'm using some drops here and there just to add some nice color of course you need to have a very very stable hand just don't go out and don't drop anything out even if you want to do it it's better to do later on or in advance once you are at this stage it's better to just work inside the letter so you can have a nice texture of course once you are here and you can add more color different colors uh, now I clean my my brush just because I don't want to mix other color and for example I use the green one I of course can also add some green here and there and the result is always pretty nice because the more the paper it's it's wet the more uh, it's it's nice because the randomness of the result it's it's amazing so now this is this is a way uh, you can treat uh, the word for example and uh, of course you can go inside and for example with some easy piece of paper you can remove color just using the paper you can for example do very strong and then you are going to remove part of the color the background one so also the background color can be lighter if you like and also the color you have just add for example you can go inside and then you can fix the color in a brighter way in a very light way this gives you a very very nice texture things that I love a lot so then you can go around play with, with the color play with the paper, always use a, a very clean piece of paper because you don't want to, to ruin your, your layout with some drops or something like this. It, as I told you, it's better to do later. So this is basically our starting point. Once you have got the, the color and the paper has been dry, this is, this, is, this is not dry at all, but I want to go a little bit faster into the process. The, once once you have fixed the color and once this really nice gradient came out because of the paper because of the color because of the way the paper moves the, the way the the text, texture of the color then you can go and play a little bit more with just some water and the brush the clean brush I usually use like I drop some some drop of water inside the color all around and let's see what happened as you can see the color is expanding out of the boundary of the text but giving you a very very nice texture because once once the color is fixed then you can play with it and of course here, as you can see here, the orange color is becoming yellow and also here some drops of, of water is taking away the color and you can again with some paper you can go and erase some colors you can stop with the, with the paper the process and then you can give an amazing range of texture inside and this is the thing I love the most because people always ask me how can I get this texture it's very easy it's the fantasy and your imagination is the limit you can work uh, using a water on the color you can use a uh, color on the water uh, it, there are uh, endless possibilities of course and the more you play the more you have fun of course and basically this is, this is the way I use 
the automatic pen as, as the beginning of the process. Um, then, uh, as I told you, I, I add some drop of color with some brush and then I add the water. Of course, the water, you can add the water or just working with the brush, you can drop some, some drop of water. It's, 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 a, it's just a matter of uh, experimenting and find the way you love the most. This is, this is, a, way, this is a, a way that I love because the texture is so thin that, 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 and that the color is so vi vibrant that gives me a really uh, depth of color that when you can play and where you can, where you can go inside. For the second part of my layout, I'm going to use this two color of Eclin, so a green one and a purple one, and then of course the, the brush pen of Eclin. It's kind of like a uh, brand new uh, tool uh, created by Eclin, and I, I really love it because, of course, uh, as uh, like every every Eclin, you can mix the color and you can use these tools in a very wide range. Of, uh, of method. For this particular one I'm going to pour directly the tip of my brush pen inside the Echolin and this is what happened. As you can see, the, the gradient of the color go down the more you use this. And you have this incredibly range of color inside your layout. And you can play with it because anytime you work with the color you have endless possibility of playing with this with the color and that's the thing I love the most because I think that life deserves a little bit of color then of course you can work with it again with the uh, with the water because the, the concept is the same so you can add some drop of water and then you will see what happen you see the texture it's it's coming out some texture and magically all the element merge together because it's not it's not something that is okay it's two different style but the color is same the gradient are the same and the textures are the same and again you can stop the process at any time just using the paper or you can wait and see what happened next. You see T here that there was a lot of water, the color was almost erased, almost gone. Usually I stop the process, I look at the layout and then I stop the process when I see something that I like. Some drops here, some nice point here. Because I don't want I don't want the the, the color uh, fade away totally. So basically, I I look I look at the color uh, maybe for a couple of hours, uh, looking at when I want to stop the process of the color. For this final part, I'm going to use again my little friend a little brush, um, and I want to add some drop and some splash of color. And the technique is very easy. I've learned from my friend uh, Guillaume, aka Fracon. Uh, you just need to blow into the brush. So you pour into your into the color you want to, to use. Be sure that there's a good quantity of color inside, and then you just blow. As you see you can have a lot of nice result of course you need to go play around yeah. 
adding some drop here and there. I usually add at the end, at the very end, I add some black drop just to give a more contrast to the final layout. Uh, and this gives me the, the sense of something more deep. Nice one. So hope you have enjoyed this my tutorial of uh, very colorful calligraphy and uh, I will produce um, uh, later on other of this of this tutorial uh, because you can you can play with color not just with uh, with the with the letters but you can play also with the background and once you work with the background it's it's another story it's another way of procedure it's another way to approach the layout of course you need to think in advance what you want to do you cannot improvise little by little like i did just now so hope you enjoyed uh, continue to follow uh, the calligraphy masters um, youtube um, youtube channel and of course if you have a chance uh, take a look at my social ca social channel that you will find uh, uh, into the link uh, into the explanation of this video bye